you so much, Dr. Redekop. Uh, and uh, again, uh, what an honor to be uh, standing here talking at the graduation of uh, these wonderful uh, and outstanding residents and fellows that I'm sure uh, you're going to carry the flagship, flagship of uh, UBC wherever you go. Uh, I was uh, honored to be a part of the training program in general surgery here, as Dr. Redekop mentioned, and uh, somehow uh, UBC teaches you leadership. Uh, I've, you know, there's a quote, if, if, if I haven't seen further, it's because I've stood on the shoulders of giants. And I can see actually many of these giants that uh, helped me um, along my, the way when I was a resident. Uh, they're not much older than me, like James Bond. <laughs> but, uh, but they really helped me through my uh, residency and guided me through my training. And I'm uh, ever uh, proud to be, um, to be part of this program. Now, uh, when I went to, back to Oman, uh, I really, uh, you know, I spoke about this in my grand round, but if I if you didn't uh, attend it, uh, one thing that we really found, uh, I really found back in Oman is that uh, the, the top president would always go into internal medicine for some reason, and they wouldn't come to surgery, uh, and mainly because the surgical environment was quite toxic. So uh, my colleagues and I, who all came back from training from Canada, from different universities, we really worked hard to change the culture of, uh, of, uh, of surgery, uh, and subsequently we recruited all these brilliant uh, Omani uh, graduates, and I thought that you know UBC is the best residency training program in Canada in my eyes, and, and that's why we needed to establish this connection and, and send the, the brilliant Omanis to come and train in, in, in UBC. And here we are, uh, and hope uh, to continue uh, this uh, collaboration with UBC. Now, for the graduating residents and fellows. Uh, you know, I had to say something philosophical today. So uh, I thought, uh, uh, what should I speak about? And basically, I think uh, every one of us has a story. Um, and as a surgeon, you do have your own story. Um, and you have to write your own story. So I looked up what makes a story. Um, and then, I found that it is actually part of our uh, practice. Uh, the first part of the story is the exposition. The exposition is the introduction to a story, including the primary characters, names, settings, mood, and time. Uh, and that's basically your residency program. That is how you're introduced to surgery. And this is how you, uh, you start your story. And uh, it is uh, a top residency program. Uh, in surgery, uh, and I always simulate it to a, a, a warship or a battleship. Uh, on the battleship, there's a lot of people who are working on the battleship, uh, but we are the Navy SEALs. The Navy SEALs are the ones who are trained harder, hardest, uh, because uh, there's a lot expected out of them, uh, and that's what uh, surgeons are. So uh, the exposition is your medical, your, your training, and then Next is an inciting incident. The inciting incident marks a crucial turning point. It's usually a moment at which the protagonist makes a decision and begins the journey. And today is actually your inciting incident, your graduation. So this is a big turning point in your life and in your career. Um, after the inciting incident is the rising action. So the rising action uh, basically is the, the story uh, where all the events that lead to the eventual climax. Um, so of course you as young uh, practicing um, uh, staff or fellows, uh, you're going to be full of adrenaline, uh, you're going to be uh, on your rising um, action uh, part of the story. Uh, you will uh, face a lot of challenges, uh, of course. Uh, I don't need to tell you that, but uh, the most important thing is, is to learn how to overcome these challenges and making it, make it part of your story rather than um, uh, succumb to them. 
And then the climax. The climax is the most exciting part of your career or your story. And it's basically the turning point of the plots or goals of the main character. The climax, I think that's where most of uh, your staff are now. Um, that is when you have done all your challenges, you've settled your career, you know where you're going, you know where you're settled. Uh, and that is when you start excelling. And I think at this point, that's when you start writing other people's story as well, or contributing to other people's story. Um, after the climax, this is the falling action. So that is when you start, you know, slowing down, and, you know, or choosing other parts of your. Everybody now is, is looking at what part of the story I am. In. <laughs> so the falling action is the one you know, when you start, you know, slowing down, maybe planning for retirement or planning a change of career, or you know, planning for business, you're going into business, uh, making money like Alex. Make me money. I'm still climbing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then finally, the resolution or the uh, denouement. Uh, I hope I pronounced it right. So that's the end of your story. And that story, uh, that end or that resolution or the denouement, uh, that could be a happy ending or not a happy ending. Uh, the good thing about this is that you have the pen and you are writing your own story. Nobody else is writing your story. So you can always you know, edit whatever part you think has gone wrong in the story so that you keep going on forward. Uh, people do make mistakes, but it's very important to stop, edit, and then go back and write your own story. Now, what makes a happy resolution? Uh, first of all, as I said, if you if you contribute to other people's story, if your name comes up in other people's story, uh, that makes your story even uh, happier when, you, when, you, when it's done, when it's finished. The other thing, if you have the right co-protagonists, uh, the other characters in your story, you have to choose them well, including your friends, your colleagues, your partners, uh, and uh, the people who will help you along the way. Then, you have to always take care of yourself. That's very, very important. And next is family. And by family, we always talk about husband, wife, kids. But I think the most important part of the family is your mother and father. Uh, that is very important to take care of them. Uh, if they are uh, still alive, just make sure that you, you, you really take care of them. Uh, and it, it really means a lot to, uh, to, uh, to see them uh, happy and proud uh, next to you, and we saw that in the graduation of the residents. So finally, uh, my, word, my final word is that um, through my story, um, uh, I've seen uh, so many ups and downs. It wasn't all rosy and nice, but uh, I think overall, uh, my best advice to you is, uh, Hold your pen, write your own story, and create your own success. Thank you very much. I think I was uh, very busy during, through this uh, visit. I get uh, the best visiting professor award. <laughs>